Hey guys, it's Sailor and I'm back with another video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about mental health. This is the Divergent Sims mod by A Deep Indigo. So I'm just gonna read it really quick. It says, this is a brand new, cohesive, comprehensive, modular mod that focuses on neurodiversity, self-esteem, mental health, evaluation, and treatment. This includes a detailed variety of 25 anxiety, developmental, learning, mood, neurological, personality, body, eating, and mental health conditions affecting infants to elders. Um, already, it pops up that Olivia is neurodivergent. That means that the Sims brain functions differently than most other Sims the same age but she has normal variable self-esteem. Khalil is also neurodivergent and has normal self-esteem. So is Sophia and Jasmine. Jasmine has normal self-esteem, but Khalil seems to be struggling lately. Maybe it's worth looking into and consulting with the psychiatrist for an evaluation and we also have a toddler here, but she's asleep. Jasmine's toddler seems to be struggling lately. So the same thing. Jasmine's also struggling. So everybody except so Olivia. So Olivia is fine. Okay, so we are back. She just got home from school. So moving on. We are going to have Jasmine do a psychiatric evaluation as well as him they can all go and she can go to initial therapist consultation and oh uh, damn hold on they're just gonna send her to daycare if they leave the lot oh hell you know turning back the hell is this place that we can't just not well we're gonna have to, yeah. Okay, so they're all gonna go. When they come back, then I'll have her go. Initial therapist consultation. Does Olivia wish to continue therapy? If so, she will become a patient of their therapist and can continue to book individual and group therapy sessions. They will continue for as long as the sim is eligible. So we'll select the yes. Thoughtful therapy. Olivia's initial session was really helpful and she feels a lot better and wants to come back for more sessions. So they will be given a trait because she is neutral, confident, like I showed before. Normal self-esteem. She has that one. And they, okay, psychiatric diagnosis and treatment options. Upon evaluation, Jasmine has been diagnosed with personality disorder, histrionic personality disorder. HPD is characterized attention seeking erotic and impulsive and dramatic behavior. Regular therapy sessions are highly recommended. The psychiatrist presented the option of medication. Is that something she is interested in? Yes, so we'll do both. And he has paranoid personality disorder. So we'll have him do no treatment pharmaceutical treatment pharmaceutical treatments don't work for everyone is jasmine sure she wants to pursue medication as tr as a treatment option yes so let's see okay so she now has a written prescription so i'm sure she just gets that by clicking on it she can go to therapy in online pharmacy so we ordered that now has the trait the reward trait here and we'll see how that comes into play with her mood and he's not gonna do any treatment so now i'll have her 
go and get evaluated as well. We'll have Jasmine take her. So some new conversations that we have is this pie menu, Divergent Sim. So we can share burdens, recommend self-esteem exercise, express feelings, talk about diagnosis. So because he is paranoid, he has these accused of spying, accused of being out to get me. So let's accuse her of being out to get him, his own daughter. So he just accused her of being out to get him. But we can do some stuff, give her. Yeah, there. Oh, she is. Yeah, she's she's not here for it. Let's express our feelings. And talk about mental health. We can share our concerns. Nope. Oh, yeah, she's not here for it. She just walked the hell away from him. Tired of his shit. Okay, so she was diagnosed with developmental delay. Oh, she was diagnosed with more than one thing. So developmental delay and cognitive delay. Sims with cognitive delay may have trouble with fine motor skills and thinking skills. The psychiatrist recommends play therapy, which may help reduce and even reverse some of those delays. So we will do therapy for her. Sims can have more than one or their original diagnosis can develop into something else. Okay, so we have Jasmine. She has a couple mood buffs from her disorder. So she's feeling flirty. Jasmine's not sure what has her feeling off flirty all of a sudden. So she's feeling impulsive and flirty for her HPD. And he had one earlier. He was feeling paranoid earlier and he really was not too happy. So it does greatly affect your Sims knees. So you can see she's flirting with him because of her little moodlet. What a leader. So because she has these moodlets, I'm gonna have her take her medication and let's see what happens. Okay, girl. So she took her medication and they went away. So we can follow up with psychiatric consultation. So get another consultation to see how the mental health is going from what they originally diagnosed us. Initial therapist consultation because they never went. They only did the evaluation. And he can sign up for additional support services because he chose to not do therapy. So he could still sign up for that. And then he can do family therapy. And her options are similar, but she did sign up for therapy. So it's already on here. Family support therapy, same thing. Initial therapist consultation and she can follow up and i'm gonna have her go to play therapy and khalil will take her damn it i was trying to have him i teleported her out here and everything okay she made it so we have olivia here i'll have her go to her therapy session They're going to need some more money because this is quite realistic. This shit is expensive as hell. I was trying to make just some damn toast. I didn't even realize the fucking funds ran out. This is why I play Sims. I can't. It's not in the budget to be doing all this. But listen, I will <laughs> I'll promote it to you guys because it is important. And this is a really good mod. So if you can't afford it in real life, here's a free mod. I will have her go follow up see if anything has changed i'm sure it hasn't but just for the sake of showing off the mod okay let's oh she doesn't even have any pets hell is she talking about 
So she had an enlightening session. So she can go to a support group. She can go to a youth support group. She is going through some emotions, so go ahead. Okay, so it said her and her psychiatrist discussed the efficiency of the medication. Uh, would Jasmine like to try a new medication or go off meds? Let's try additional medication. Are they like glitched? Why the hell is this play therapy so long? I'm about to cancel this. Well, it's closed now, so we'll try that again. So Jasmine has a mood buff boost of confidence, so her confidence has gone up. Um, she doesn't have the mood buff, but you can see she now has high confidence. So once they're done, I'm gonna have them go and do some more therapy. So I'm gonna have Khalil try again and to take Sophia. So Jasmine just took her medication and she got this notification, holding steady from antidepressant medication. The negative feelings haven't magically gone away, but the medication does help to balance Jasmine's emotions a bit better. That's better than nothing, right? So that is what she got from taking her medication. She didn't have any mood buffs like the last time. I just had her take it to see what would happen. And that mood buff came up. So Jasmine has this mood buff that is hungerless from antidepressant medication side effects. Jasmine is hardly hungry, not really feeling up to her usual appetite. So I'm assuming maybe her hunger won't decay as fast while she has this mood buff. It is decaying though, but it is um, not decaying as fast as his. But now I am gonna have her go to play therapy with Jasmine. We can give him one. Let's give him a body dysmorphic disorder. So he has body dysmorphic disorder. Does anything happen? I don't know, let's go have him um, check himself out see what happens if he does that <laughs> oh wait <laughs> after Khalil finished checking himself out in the mirror he thinks he looks really basic and so thinks the majority of the world okay um so it, it does seem like maybe that worked <laughs> with the Wicked Whims mod. So for some reason, the toddler therapy is not working for me. I don't know if I have something that's not compatible because my game is glitching a little bit or if I'm just doing it incorrectly. But the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the family therapy. So we are going to do family support therapy with Olivia. Okay, so they are back from therapy. So Jasmine's notifications as well not everything needs to be talked through all the time it was a productive family session for jasmine this time hopefully they can all get through these struggles together and olivia says olivia is trying very hard to be supportive through her family members struggles but it takes a toll on the whole family and it's hard to ignore so it's looking like they don't have any mood buffs from it, just those notifications. So these are only some of the aspects of the mod. It's such a big mod that it would be a lot to show in one video. So make sure you guys check this mod out for yourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.